Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, as you've seen in the thumbnail, we have a very interesting day ahead of us. It is the morning time and I suppose just to let you know, you've seen the wheel is off the tractor in the thumbnail. The wheel bearing has gone on the 6290 the umbilical tractor with the wide tyres. It's four years, it's 2018 when we changed the wheel bearing last. Uh, so yeah, we got four years over. We were lucky. We were lucky. Unusual now, the wheel burn has went to me two times before and both times the wheel burn went it was a case of you were driving down the road, next thing you got smoke, you could smell oil and you had no brakes. And that was the wheel burn had collapsed, the inside seal had gone and I was letting the back end oil out of the tractor. This time though the wheel burn must have just about gone or just gone when we got to the farmer. We got half a day spreading done before I started getting the, the screeching and the creaking in the wheel and Tom might have been loose bolts because there's the the big tires are on a split rim and then there's a disc bolted to that and then it's bolted onto the axle so there's a lot of bolts there to go loose it wouldn't be the first time ones went loose and we thought that's what it was so I got out and checked and couldn't see anything and the center of the hub was hot so went got him between the system and got went investigating and you would have seen my picture on instagram my hands all grease and metal filings and that's where there's two seals so you have a seal the bear and another seal so one seal is to keep the back end oil in the tractor then the bear and then the other seal is to keep the grease in the bearing and that seal had gone and all the the my hand was covered in grease and metal filings and yeah that's that was kind of when we went kind of, oh shit. So we just abandoned Ravinted Farmer's Yard, took off the carry pack, or the, the, the dribble bar, and we're ready to go back now. So Father Phil's just after leaving there to go to the local Massey Garage, John says to see can he get us a seal, because, or well, a wheel bearing and a seal. We, we'll get the wheel bearing even if he doesn't have one, but the seal is the big thing where we could fall down. And if they don't have one, and it has to be ordered, we could lose another day, we may have to, drive around the countryside to find a Massey dealer with a seal because kind of need to get it going. There's a good half a day's ripping in it if everything goes to plan but we are lucky. As I said every other time on the went it was on the road and if it goes on the road you have to get scrapped up off the road, you have oil all over the road, you have to fill the back end oil back end with oil and you also do damage to the half axle because once the bearing goes your, your half shaft start rubbing again your half axle and can wear it this horse this sort of that happened the first time it went we drove a bit too far but anyway so it's bad but it could be worse it always could be worse but anyways my job now with father fellows away is to gather up all the bits and bobs we need to get this done so one of the things father Phil's already picked it up we have an inch with an inch airline or an inch gun runs off a larger pipe and the adapters on that so he's that put that into the jeep so he can bring that so we can use the pto compressor we'll have air so i gotta go get jacks blocks spanners all sorts of stuff have a ray for when he comes back and we get be behan up and get this tractor fixed go be fun go be interesting and this should make for a good video as much as it's fierce bloody annoying that happened at the end of the first week of slurry oh it could be worse could be worse could be a lot worse. Anyways, there's the pigs. Get massive, so there. Anyways, we'll go gather up our bits. Jack and a block. Drum of oil if we lose any to top it up. Another block. Box of sockets. Pry bars. Milwaukee's. Inch air gun. Tommy bar. Sockets for the inch gun. Selection of spanners. And get them off my fingers. Hammer, another Tommy bar, and vice WD 40, Loctite, gas tank. Another block, another block, drums, drain the tractor into it. more blocks, even more blocks. So, just leaving now. Tractor still has the seal. But no bearings, so we're going to call into Central Bearings and get it. And also, someone um, rearranged my mother's fence last night. Ah, they're going too quick. They um, 
overshot the turn. Well, anyways, no one was hurt. So, yeah, go Central Bairns, get ourselves a Bairn, and we get down and get ripping. I think we have everything we need. Touch what we have. So, picked up the Bairn inside that, and some gasket sealer. We didn't have any, so happy out. I should get us going. So, we're here now. The 6290. And we have the system off. The car was just getting ready to give us a hand to lift the wheel. So that we have the tractor running to warm up the back end oil. So that it's easier, it just flows out of it easier. So we get the wheel taken off first. So, get the teleport lined up and lift it up and take it off. So it's the wheel bearing on this side is what's gone. So, we have to get that big wheel off to get in at the half axle. Half axle has to come off. Then we have to take the half shaft out of the half axle twin bearings. Are we ready? So we go that way. So, it's the quickest way of getting attacked. And now we just run over the 99 and the front PTO compressor and we get the inch gun at it and we'll pack off the, the bolts. But it's a long way into where the bolts are or the studs are for the, the wheel. Up more. Up. Oh. Down. Down. Yep. Okay, right, bring over the other tractor, yeah? Tractor now, we'll run them off with the other one. Oh. Make sure you have the right one. Yep. That's the one for the job. Right. Get the inch gun. Get the doctor for that. Where'd you leave it in the Jeep? Back in the Jeep. Ooh. Great selection of tools. Far side. Here it is. Press the adapter. That's the wheel off, and you can see here this is what's gone the wheel bearing here. That's the casing for it. That's part of the seal that's gone. That's the seal. That's part of the casing. And this is where, on the picture on Instagram, that was what was on my hands. That metal. The next seal in hasn't gone as the bearing hasn't fully collapsed. So we have to drain the back end of oil. We'll have to wash down all our studs around here, and then we have to take off the cab, jack the cab up, off the half axle. Take out the half shaft. So, where's Father Phillips power washing that? This isn't the first time a wheel bearing has gone on us. Every other time a wheel bearing went, it was on the road. It happened to me twice. But it's the first time since we've had the mass tech system. It's gone. And before we put the mass tech system on, we've changed both wheel bearings both sides. They weren't gone, but we just changed as a precaution. It's not something you can kind of cop in time, really. Um, it's unfortunate that had happened, but it could have been a lot worse. It basically was just about gone, I'd imagine, when we came into the uh, farmer's yard, and then over the space of spreading and that, it just wore itself out the rest of the way. We get this washing done, we get it taken off, uh, we get the farmer's teleporter to strap the half axle to, and all we have to do then is just boom it back, and we can work on it then, boom it forward, and it should still be in line. That's the theory, that's how we do it every other time and it, it generally works out well. We have to take off the cab and jack the cab up out of the way because the cab rests on the half axle. So, fingers crossed, there's no other issues. Fingers crossed, anyway. Let's keep moseying on at this. So, we're just letting out the oil out of it and, well, I don't know, did they think of it too much when they put the bung where they put it? There's a couple of It um, runs straight onto the hitch plate and then it just goes everywhere, so. That oil is now waste oil, unfortunately, but we have three and a half drums we got out handy enough, but yeah. We only four drums in it, so. 
it's annoying but what can you do um we're just looking at it there if we had the right pipe and the right tread you take out the bung screw on the pipe and then it'll be able to siphon out of it that way but we don't but something to keep in mind for the next time we'll have to do something next like time huh. next time you have to drain the back end not necessarily do this job yeah i got some of the ones out handy uh, enough uh, there's, I don't know. that's literally 10 minutes from being out yeah yeah it's, it's just get the forks in now strap it to it and slide it back right, uh, good there now that's it that's it that's it that's our empty oh so you can see this is a uh, half axle off 61.90 we got half murphy's seven years ago six or seven years ago the when went before and damaged it. yeah because the bearing collapsed and um, maybe we drove it a bit too much more than i i thought but it, it what happened was when the bearing collapsed that wore used to it now that part of the casting out so i had to put a new one in it Right. Ready to take it off now. So, Father Phil's just taking out the most awkward stud. It's in, in through the... It's in a hole. Yeah. And you can't... There's no hole through that to get lined up, so... It is quite a tight space. Now what's left then? Two on the top. Two underneath. Yeah, so just, we're just about there now. Giving you a ratchet now. A ratchet? Yeah, there's straps and ratchets in the back of the Jeep. A ratchet for this. A ratchet for that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so, no. Ah, not the Freddy tape, though. You want me to do it? I, I could hold the camera there now. Yeah, you could be Spielberg. That's just an awkward spot. Turn that socket on the other side. Take huh? it off. Slip it over. And pull it back on. Give you a different position. Maybe. Pretty safe. Yeah, safe way to Yeah, but ain't a bit of modern technology. Top two, we don't have to touch for the minute. We have to get that bottom one out and that far one loose. We're ready for off. Now, last ball coming out now. Pry bar. So I'll pull the, give the drum a push, pull towards you there, yep. Yeah. We're having enough strap on the end of that. Why? It should hold it. Oh, you should have one down there going back, is it? No, not really, no. I'll turn up the fork, turn up the fork maybe. Oh yeah, it's the shaft coming out of it. All that's left is the shaft now. Now the centre. Yep. That's it. Isn't it? Yeah. And that is... The half shaft off. That's the brake disc. Still lots of brake on it. That's going to fall that way, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh. 
And now, just like Daisy, one twenty-seven stud and a flat washer, and out she comes. That's all that holds it in. And there's our rollers yeah, and our casing, and yeah, that's all. I'll go into shit on it. Right, get that thing out. Right, get rags at it. Yeah. <sighs> that's the old bearing off. So we have it taken us under, just the planetary gears, all oh, looks fine. That's the seal there that I was on about. It's that seal normally goes when your wheel bearing goes and then that lets all the back end oil out. But that seal, perfect. And the bearing that was in that is perfect too. So happy days that way. But well, it's just to get the other end of that sorted. And to get the shell out of the casting is going to be the hardest bit, so just getting a welder now, I will have to go at it. Fun, but however, we're getting there. So, what's going to be done now is, see that's the shell, that the old bear in there, and that is a ringing <laughs> to get out. So what Father Phil's going to do now, he's going to get a bolt, piece of rebar, whatever, it's just the right length that will sit in there, and then weld the top and bottom and then that gives you something to give it a pull because at the minute there is like literally no way to get that shell out very very hard job that can do it well yeah yeah round up welder yeah didn't weld into the shell at all just pop straight out so go again so put water on it to try and get the bear and the shell to cool and hopefully that can make it shrink it's cracked two or three times there doing that so uh, hopefully this time we'll make them up no that is what gave us all that trouble how many attempts five or six attempts of welding and trying to get that out and it's now out at long last we'll have a bit of washing to do now because there's a lot of um chips of welding that chip that haul out yeah, look and get the one wrapped a bit now yeah, to make sure they're the same way. Right. So, just after checking to make sure that the old shell was the same as the new shell on the new baron, which it is. And what I'm doing now is heating the shell by holding it. I know. But all it has to do is expand a little bit, and it just slides in over. Last time we done these. At the, at the house we put the two we done the two wheel bearings at the same time and we put the, these into the oven and we heat them and they just drop down over the half shaft no bother so father phil's just baiting in the new shell there and i'm going to try and heat it Turn this and put it down on top of that. So lift it up, turn that over, and then push that fall down well. Put it down on top of that. Is that it?
So that is the whole half axle rebuilt, new bearings in, ready for back in. That washer and stud in there is all the holes on the half shaft. Amazing. And we actually wore that washer off this tractor once on the side of a hill. Broke it on the side of a hill. Broke it. So we had three days for it to come in. If it happened now would be a week. <laughs> Could be even more. But anyways, just more cleaning up now to get ready to gunk it and go back. And the uh, brakes. So oh, like new. When, were the brakes ever done or not? Never was done. I never, never done them. We never done them. We've had this tractor since 2008. Seven. Seven. 2007. So it's 16, 15 years on the farm at this contracting. We've never had to touch the brakes. And the brakes and the brakes are good. It's not like the brakes aren't pulling. The brakes are good. And there's a great, great hedge on them there still. Anyways, just about ready for back in now. So we we'll have it strapped up ready to go back. Just cleaning off the bolts to go in. So I get that. That's the one off the bottom now. We'll leave that there and you'll lose the other one. back on it's a matter of putting everything back tightening up then tighten all our pipes back on and then we're ready for the wheel oh yeah put back on the, the cab as well so happy days so i think we're all back together are we so start tidying up and I've checked where we were at, we checked the stud or the bolts that we could get at this side studs, they're tight, but we found a different issue in taking off that lift arm. I oh, you know that's the one off that side. You can see it's a lot of wear. So we changed them. A lot of wear, so we're gonna to to change them pins, which is slightly annoying. I was hoping we'd get a bit done this evening. But um however, we'll have to change them pins. How have you summed it up so far? No, oh, look at it, it's been a grand uh, Grand each other for then that um, beard not coming out so handy Yeah, but was, all together so far we're only at it four hours an hour or that was yeah, or more yeah, was yeah, even yeah, trying was Yeah I must admit it took a while If you had everything on hand Four hours, for you, four hours at Yeah like And we're an hour taking out that beard Yeah, that beard was just a bit of hardship now but we got out well, And the, she the shell of the beard Shell of the beard Shell of the beard Anyways We'll tidy up, we're ready to put back on the wheel and then yeah we'll have to get pins. It's the next day, wheel's on, Father Phil's just wiring up two wires we had to cut, putting okay, plugs on them. So we're ready to go back on now, new pins into the lift arms so that should leave her safe and just put grease into the balls and around all that just to keep it from going rusty and give it a bit of extra life anyways we're basically ready now we we'll start her up and we we'll put back on the dribble bar and we get spreading she's alive we now have back on all plumbed all ready all is good everything seems fine now before i say or do too much more we are slightly superstitious people and things come brakes come in trees and we broke the pipe we broke the wheel bearing now i broke a match so hopefully that wards off the bad luck so anyways we tip back out we're the pipe we get spread and we get this job finished up all in all five hours work took a while to get that shell out but we got it out we got it done we're back running and it's why, like my father said to me a couple of times before in the past, it's mind over matter. If you don't mind, it won't matter. You just that's how you have to take these little hiccups of machinery. Don't get too worked up over it. But look, okay. 
we're back in the field we'll join up our pipes we'll get spreading and we're going i'm going to leave it like that for today's video hope you enjoyed it as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday hopefully we have no more issues for the rest of the season but all we can do is hope fingers crossed and touch all the wood around us but that is it from us please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that is it from us good luck